Okay, so check it out. It's been pouring rain all day and my desperation antenna wire, my 20 meter desperation wire, the tuning changed. Maybe because it's on wet bamboo sticks, I don't know. But it's an opportunity to explain what you can do with a multi-tap on an in certain situations like this. I would like to show you something. This is the 49 to 1 tap that it's connected to. And this is the best match I can get using 49 to 1, okay? I hope it's readable. 49 to 1. I'm going to pause this. Now you can see I've changed the alligator clip to the highest Z tap I put on this Unun that I'm calling Little Schmo. I wanted an 81 to 1 tap but didn't have room. And I can still add it and I'm going to show you how. Hang on. Okay. So you can see that the standing wave ratio dropped. Now that I'm using the 64 to 1 tap, it got much better. It's now 1.2 to 1. The resistance came up to 40 ohms. The reactants dropped to a couple ohms. And now I would like to see what would happen if I had another tap to use. But that is the last one. So I'm going to pause this and show you what I'm going to do. Hang on. Okay. While you were paused, I knocked my phone on the ground. And I knocked my SWR analyzer over. <laughs> so hopefully you can see what I've done. I took that yellow alligator clip that had a piece of wire to attached to it. That's probably 5 inches long maybe. I clipped it on. To the 80, I'm sorry, the 64 to 1 tap. I clipped it on and I made two turns through the core. What I've done, I've added another tap to the unun. Two more turns. Let me figure what the Z ratio is. Hang on. Okay, so I figured the Z ratio. Two more turns makes a, an impedance ratio, transformation ratio, of 75 to 1. So using the 64 to 1 tap, things got real nice again. And uh, so let's see what the 74 to 1 tap does for us. Should get us real close to perfect resonance. And that's fantastic pretty much in the middle of the band. Um, true resonance is indicated by a lack of reactance. It has nothing to do with resistance. It has nothing to do with SWR. It has everything to do with reactance. And I think that's a pretty darn good match on that antenna. And so the reason why I wanted to show this, I have before um, at least once, but since uh, I've been working with these desperation mode wires um, and trying to talk about the advantages of a uh, multi-tap on them, I think this uh, illustrates just how advantageous it is to have a wide range of impedance transformation ratios on your unun. So what am I gonna do with little schmo? I'm gonna pick you up. Things gonna get shaky. What am I gonna do with little schmo? Well, I'm gonna add a couple more. I'm gonna add my 81 to 1 tap, but I'm just going to layer it. It's only three turns. I'm just gonna layer them back and forth right there. And uh, yeah, hope that was useful for somebody for something I don't know what this is street level ham radio from the gutters one hour north of Detroit <laughs> 73